Welcome viewers. For the first time, the costly diadem and other jewels from the Queen's private collection are on exhibit together at Buckingham Palace, which has recently received some very glittering upgrades. Stay tuned, all is explained in this video. Please if you are new to my channel, take a moment to press the subscription button below and turn on the notification bell for the latest daily news. The most recent exhibition put on by the Royal Collection Trust to commemorate Queen Elizabeth's historic Platinum Jubilee year features some of the monarch's most prized and personal jewellery, including her renowned diamond diadem, at the Royal Residence in London. According to Caroline de Goyetot, the exhibition's curator, these are the Queen's personal jewels. She wears them frequently, but they are very rarely presented in public, so it is a really unusual opportunity to view them in this context and to see them with the pictures is very wonderful. For George Ivey's coronation in 1821, a valuable diamond and pearl crown adorned with 1,333 diamonds and 169 pearls was made. The sparkling crown, which includes diamonds set in the shapes of the national symbols of England, Scotland, and Wales, a rose, a thistle, and two shamrocks, has been worn by the Queen since since award-winning photographer Dorothy Wilding captured her official coronation photographs in 1952. The day of her official coronation in 1953 saw her donning the magnificent sparkler as well. Since then, she has worn it to nearly every state opening of the Parliament. The gems worn in a series of photos taken by Wilding during the early years of the Queen's reign served as the inspiration for the exhibit selection. Additionally included in the new exhibition are those images, a total of 24 in number. When Wilding was hired to take official portraits of King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, later known as the Queen Mother, at his coronation in 1937, she became the first female royal photographer. Wilding began taking pictures of the royal family in the 1920s and went to take the official portraits of the Queen for both her engagement and her accession. Other priceless items on display include the Dorset Bow brooch, on display for the first time, a sapphire and diamond Cartier bracelet given to her King George VI as an 18th birthday present in 1944, and the Vladimir Tiara, which has detachable emeralds. The Girls of Great Britain Ireland Tiara was a wedding gift to Queen Mary in 1893 who then passed the piece down to her granddaughter Princess Elizabeth on her wedding day in 1947. While the majority of the jewellery on exhibit has only ever been worn by the Queen, Kate Middleton wore the Nizam of Hyderabad necklace in 2014 at the National Portrait Gallery and the Diplomatic Corps Banquet, which was a Cartier wedding gift selected by the Queen herself. 2019, the Queen wore it for her second session with Wilding in 1952, and those photographs, which were set with over 300 diamonds, served as the inspiration for the monarch's depiction on postage stamps from 1953 to 1971. The Delhi Durbar necklace, another magnificent item on display, with an 8.8 carat diamond pendant cut from the Cullinan diamond, the biggest diamond ever discovered. For the first time, the emerald and diamond earrings that go with the necklace are on view. Due to the coronavirus outbreak, Buckingham Palace has not held its customary summer opening since 2019. Platinum Jubilee, the Queen's accession debuts on Friday and continues through October 2 at Buckingham Palace. 